success for me is to be striving for something. And the name of the show is Summit of Life. And I, as far as I'm concerned, you're only at the Summit of Life when you're still striving and you're still reaching. Tim's a fireball. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. His passion and his driving force are really what sets him apart from, from a lot of the other people that I know. The really interesting thing about Tim is that whatever he, he focuses on, he gives 110% to. I know it sounds cliche, but it really is true. He's always just looking to help people and how he can better himself and better the world and better his friends and just always wants to live life to the fullest. When he makes his decisions uh, to move forward on, on different projects that he does, a lot of those decisions are based, uh, are based in the heart. So a lot of the products that he moves forward with uh, need to be products that benefit people that he can believe in. Um, and then he chases that dream or that goal that he's got with a passion like no one else I know. Hello, and welcome to Summit of Life. I'm Randy Taylor. Today we'll follow the journey of a door-to-door -door salesman whose passion drives him to bring his message of health and wellness to the world. We'll find out how Tim Mulcahy intends to achieve this lofty goal, how his energy, drive, and ambition propel him toward his dream. Coming up right here on Summit of Life. I believe focus is one of the key ingredients. Passion. I want to use that inspiration in a creative way. I, I really want to, to make a difference in the world. Tim Mulcahy started his career in door-to-door -door sales, but wasn't always the poster child for good health. In fact, like too many people today, he lived on fast food. It wasn't until he discovered the connection between good eating and successful sales that he decided to change his life. When I started working, I was 16 to 20, 21 years old. I really didn't eat very well. I didn't understand the impact of unhealthy food on your body. Uh, my favorite restaurants were Burger King, Mr. Sub. I used to eat Whoppers and fries and Coke and coffee. And it was, I mean, my reg a regular salesperson's diet was um, coffee, burgers, and cigarettes. I mean, that's really what it was. I think that exercise was the biggest thing that really getting back into exercise because I always exercised as a kid but I had that window of six seven years where I didn't do much at all and that exercise really was what focused me and got me really focused and balanced and as a matter of fact that's when my income my sales income started to really increase because I found that I was really focused every single day and rather than having peaks and valleys I was consistent all the time my eating habits improved slightly over time, but there was so much contradictory information, such as pasta gives you energy. And I used to eat pasta and I used to get tired. I can't understand, why am I getting tired? I'm eating pasta, it's supposed to give me energy. The process is simple. If, if you don't feel good after a meal, you didn't eat right. And I thought, well, gee, that makes sense. You shouldn't have to, you know, if you can eat a good meal and you can feel great, um, that makes sense. Right now, you guys miss not going to the hockey school this uh, summer? No. Uh, up north, yeah. in Sundridge. Oh, yeah. I came to meet Tim about three years ago, and um, when I first met him, he you, it was obvious he's a health nut. So he there's two parts to him. He's a very aggressive, very successful businessman. Um, he's done very well for himself, um, and he also happens to be very motivated by health. Um, exercise, nutrition, he takes his vitamins diligently. So there was two aspects about him that was very, very interesting. When you exercise and you are healthy, door-to-door uh, -door sales becomes much easier. More so in door-to-door -door sales than any other business, the customer is reacting to you. Not what you're saying, but you. The customer is buying you. And when you're glowing, when you're feeling great, when you're confident, that's exuded across to the customer. And only when you are at your best are you going to succeed your most. If you're not at your peak, 
you are not going to be successful. And this is where it really paid off for me that when I would exercise first thing in the morning, when I would feel good, when I would eat right, and I would go to the doors, my confidence level, I'd be glowing. And it would, it would pay off huge. With his energy, enthusiasm, and ambition, Tim soared in all areas of sales and quickly went on to start several highly successful businesses. He incorporated his own health philosophy into his sales meetings and found that people were more interested in his ideas than anything else. When we did the body, mind, and soul meetings, when we did the self-improvement meetings, when we taught people really how to improve their lives, that's what they were excited about. And when they really focused on improving their lives, their income went up automatically. It was simply a byproduct of improving their lives. I've come up with a uh, business model for the participants in this to be able to earn some really good money. When the salespeople started following the program, they had more energy. When they started taking vitamins and supplements, eating right, starting to listen to motivational books and tapes, uh, drinking more water, and following the overall body, mind, and soul program, the overall sales increased and our sales force grew. For me, these are the areas that improved my life. Exercise was first, second was eating right, third was taking vitamins and supplements, Fourth was when I really got into reading and listening to motivational materials. And fifth is going to happen soon is my improved sleep. The whole premise is to improve people's lives. And the foundation of that is through exercise, nutrition, vitamins, attitude, and sleep. If people improve their physical health and improve their mental and emotional and spiritual health, that they are naturally going to improve their lives. Tim became a health prophet, preaching to anyone who would listen. His mission in life is to help people improve their lives through adopting good nutrition and lifestyle habits. At the same time, his online health resource company took off, reaching people around the world from Sweden to Australia and all over North America. It's something I think that's been on Tim's mind for at least 10 years, something he's always talked about and dreamt about and really has been his passion, um, what he's been wanting to do for a lot of years, so it's finally becoming realized to him. I personally love to sell. I believe that my gift, my personal gift, is to be able to sell. So I figured if I'm going to sell anything, I sold natural gas for 10 years, I sold water filters for three years, I sold home insulation for five years, I sold vacuum cleaners, tough gig, for a couple of years. But now I'm selling health, and I'm really selling something that I believe in, and for me, Right now in my life, it's important that I sell something and I do something that I really believe in. Obesity is growing. It's become an epidemic. And there's no reason that it isn't. If you look at society today, 30 years ago when I was a kid, I was out playing street hockey. Today, my kids, even though they play a lot of competitive sports, are just as happy on the computer, PlayStation, in front of the television. There are so many distractions these days and, and simple, easy methods of getting children's attention that doing something physical, going outside, um, playing in the park, playing football, playing baseball, the things that we used to do are just done so much less these days. And add that to all the advertising. Who are your largest advertisers? Your soft drink companies, all right? Your fast food companies, pulling away your pop, which is sugar, 10 servings of sugar and many pops, and you pulled away your french fries, which are white starch and trans fats, you've got three of your worst foods all combined in your pop and your fries, take those away and you'd have a healthier society.